Kim Kardashian is going to make a super sweet ad for the Super Bowl. I'm Dave Wobble. This is IO2, and let's giggity go. So opening question, what is your favorite NFL team? If you think Kim Kardashian is hot, hit that like button. So Kim K, I don't know how you guys feel about her, but she's got a new ad coming out for T-Mobile. It's a commercial where she actually just makes fun of herself pretty much throughout the whole thing, but she's totally promoting T-Mobile for having great data usage. Throughout the commercial, she actually stands in a very serious tone and talks about how it's an atrocity that people don't use the data that they get on their phones. When we could obviously be spending time looking at her butt or looking at her, you know, face or whatever. To be perfectly honest, I'm not a really big hip sort of guy sort of thing, so Kim K is not somebody that I would look at. Not saying big hips are bad, but hey, I just like the 90s model girls. Mm. But the funny thing about this whole T-Mobile thing is pretty much last year they did a whole text ad. The text said maybe next year they'll do an ad with an overpaid movie star. I guess that's this year, but Kim K isn't really a movie star, but close enough. So let's move along to what else we got in the news. SpongeBob SquarePants, don't know if you guys like them or not. I feel like that was the last real cartoon that a North American company ever made. In Saudi Arabia, an infant was found with a SpongeBob pendant in its throat. The pendant actually belonged to its older sibling. I mean, it's pretty bad. Like, this is the x-ray. What the fuck? How do you swallow something like that? And that's another reason why you don't give kids really shiny things, because they're like squirrels. <gasps> shiny. But fortunately, they operated on the kid, and they got the pendant out, so the kid's now cool beans. But if any of you guys are UFO people, this is the story for you guys, so perk your ears up. Project Blue Book is a 22-year-old investigation, which first began in 1947. It's an investigation with over 130,000 pages, and this whole project has now officially gone online for the public to see. During this investigation, there were 12,618 sightings with 701 currently being unidentified. So that's it for this vid, but I want to know from you guys, what is your favorite piece of clothing to wear? Like my pink shirt.